Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. I'm sure you're all having a nice, long, wonderful weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. Listen, one thing that was amazing that happened last week that I wanted to bring to your attention. Um, there are Gurkhas, and it's a title claimed by Nepali soldiers. They are some of the fiercest warriors in the world. Their bravery and battlefield exploits have earned them prestigious military awards, as well as fear and respect among both their allies and their adversaries. Now, Doug, why do you bring this up on Memorial Day? Because if a man says he's not afraid of dying, he's either lying or he's a Gurkha. Field Marshal Sam Mashenika famously said that the Gurkha embody a fearless spirit. The reason I bring the Gurkha up in their fearless spirit is because a veteran of the Gurkha soldiers, Hari Buddha Magar, is one of my new heroes. He, is a, he was uh, wounded by an IED, uh, which blew his legs off above the knee. Um, now, he did grow up at elevation um, at the base of Mount Everest, but last week, he became the first double amputee above the knee to scale Mount Everest. Do you know all the experts, all the medical professionals, everybody told him it couldn't be done. You'll never be able to overcome the obstacles that are necessary for, for you to overcome while you're, while you're climbing Mount Everest. You can't bend your knees. You're not gonna be able to maneuver and manipulate around as you should. That was a bunch of crap. How many times have you been told that you couldn't do something and then ends up you do it? Or how many times have you told somebody, hey, probably can't get that done and then they show you? I'm telling you what, it is amazing. Hari, you're my new hero, you're amazing. You're right up there with Sir Edmund Hillary. Again, somebody who, some, who the majority of experts said that it couldn't be accomplished and he showed up and showed them all that could be done. One really cool thing about the trip was when they reached the base camp for the summit, uh, when they go up to summit to Mount Everest, they stop at a base camp uh, before making reaching summit. He had to stay there for 18 days because the wind and the weather was so bad. So imagine making it to that point, you're almost there, and then having to sit around and lay around for 18 days and think about it. You know, I don't move around as well as I probably could, but, you know, and I get it. I totally understand when you have physical disability and it's hard to move around. It's, it's easy just to sit down and say, hey, look, you know, I'm just not going to do this today. This gentleman did not. This gentleman was fearless. When he was a young boy, he grew up at elevation. He would walk 45 minutes to school each day barefooted. Um, that was something that he had indicated that he had done. So he was always working in an adverse environment, always working to achieve greater things. What he was doing is he was training. He was training his whole entire life for this moment. You know, I always tell you, where you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be to achieve your big goals and your big dreams. You're just training right now. Where you're at is where you're supposed to be. What you're doing may or may not make sense. This gentleman spent his childhood in adversity, walking, you know, in adverse conditions, barefooted to school every day, back and forth, 45 minutes each way. He was in training. He became a, a soldier in one of the most elite fighting forces in the world. He was in training. Now, he, as a double amputee, has, has summited Mount Everest. He has indicated he's going to dedicate the rest of his life to showing that our ideas and perceptions about disabilities are not correct. They're wrong. It's a bunch of crap to think that somebody, just because they either have some sort of a minor mental difficulty or have a major physical disability, that we're not capable of doing what other people are capable of doing. You know what? We're the ones you post the videos of on social media and get inspiration from, okay? And I'm inspired by this gentleman. Let me tell you, he's done some amazing things and I was just so pumped I wanted to share this with you. Um, it is Memorial Day weekend. 
I want you to think about going out and being with family and friends. I know that uh, today is Memorial Day and you're probably going to be having some get togethers with others. And try to approach your Memorial Day with your goal card in your pocket. It's not always easy for us to go out and be around family and sometimes not easy for us to be around friends, especially now that you're changing. You're changing. You're thinking different. You're putting different things into your mind. You're walking away from negativity. You're excusing yourself from negative conversations. It's going to be difficult to be out with the crowd, the regular crowd. You're not a part of the herd anymore. You're not a part of the masses. Now you're different. You're changing. You're becoming better. You're mentally focused on achieving your primary goal. Don't let anybody steal that from you, but remember to, in the nicest and kindest way possible, excuse yourself from negative conversations. We don't need to sit around and argue about politics or anything else today. Remember forgiveness. Go to your functions today with forgiveness in your heart. Look past past transgressions. Maybe others have a have um, committed and just move on have a wonderful day approach today with happiness walk in and show everybody how great you're doing and how great your life is by being the new you and you be the best new you you could possibly be and remember to have forgiveness in your heart don't walk in with those negative feelings of anger or animosity towards friends or family based on things that have happened in the past you know Try having a sober day today. You know, I know everybody else is going to be having cocktails, so on and so forth. Maybe step away from that. Maybe just have a positive day where you have a great relationship with the others around you. You're engaging in positive conversation. People are going to be so excited to be around you and they're going to notice the new you and they're going to say, hey, look at them. They have a dig a new job. Uh, what happened? You know, as wow, it looks like they're doing fantastic. And everybody's going to wonder why you're doing so great. You and I are going to know why. You're making positive changes. You're doing good things. I believe in you. I know you can do it. So when you go out today and you're around others, just be the best you you can be. And remember, we walk away from negative situations in the kindest way possible. We read our goal card, take a deep breath, and then re-engage. And just have a fantastic Memorial Day. If you get a chance, uh, maybe take a nap. I tell you what, it's recharge your brain, you know. Maybe we don't go out today and be crazy. Maybe today we just sit around and relax and spend time playing board games with family and friends. Whatever's right for you, you should do it, friends. And you know what? I care about you. I believe in you. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to go enjoy Memorial Day with my family. Take care. Have a wonderful day.